Oh, it's official. Republicans just reached the number of seats needed to control the House when the new Congress convenes in January. Newsy congressional correspondent Nate Reed joins us now from Capitol Hill with the very latest. Nate. Hey, good evening, Julie. Well, for one, what, one of the things we're expected to see is a potential Republican leader, Kevin McCarthy. He could win the speakership of the 118th House of Representatives. Republicans in the 118th Congress will also control all House committees. Additionally, we'll probably see the end of the House committee investigating the January 6th hearing. We'll also see different investigations, many into President Biden, his children, potentially administration officials, and even some Democrats, and potentially counter investigations uh, into January. January 6th. Those are all things that we're expecting from Republican leadership in the House of Representatives. It will also make it harder for President Biden to govern as the uh, head of the Democratic Party, along, of course, with a Democratic uh, U.S. Senate, which the uh, House of Representatives will have to work with. President Biden, though, in the last couple of moments, just putting out a statement, I will read part of that right now. He said, I congratulate Leader McCarthy on Republicans winning the House majority and am ready to work with House Republicans to deliver results for working families. He goes on to say, I will work with anyone, Republican or Democrat, willing to work with me to deliver results for them. But one thing is clear that this is going to be difficult for President Biden and for Democrats here in Washington to get their agenda across the line, given that we'll have to pass the House of Representatives. The one potential saving grace for Democrats, though, uh, trying to enact their agenda, a tight House majority for Republicans will make it difficult for Republicans to pass many bills that will make uh, it difficult to agree on things uh, for Republicans to get things across the finish line. The Republican majority also spells a question mark for Speaker Pelosi's future. She's been the leader of House Democrats since 2003, over 19 years. It's not exactly clear what she will do. She said that she was withholding, announcing her next steps until after this election was decided. But we now know that Republicans will control the 118th House of Representatives. Well, Nate, on the Senate uh, side, Senate Democrats have yet to hold leadership uh, um, elections. So what is the information you have about what we can expect on that side? Well, on the Senate side, we know that Mitch McConnell is going to be the major, uh, the minority leader, excuse me, for the next two years. Uh, he has been and will become the longest serving Republican leader and the longest serving leader in Senate history during this next uh, Congress. The uh, one thing that he told reporters today, though, uh, about Republicans' performance in the midterm elections, he was disappointed with some of the messaging that Republicans led in the midterm elections. He also said that they have a chance to do over their messaging with the Georgia runoff elections on December 6th. Let's listen. Here's the problem. We underperformed among voters who did not like President Biden's performance in, among independents and among moderate Republicans who looked at us and concluded too much chaos, too much negativity, and we turned off a lot of these centrist voters with regard to, to Georgia, we underperformed among centrist voters, independents, and moderates in Georgia. We need to try to do better in the runoff. And there has been another overhaul in Senate Republican leadership. Rick Scott, who was the chair of the NRSC, Senate Republicans uh, campaign wing, is out. He is no longer leading that for the next two years. It's going to be Senator Steve Daines, the Republican from Montana, who's going to take on Republicans' top position, trying to get other Republican senators elected across the country in 2024. Okay, Nate Reed on Capitol Hill. Thanks so much for that tonight.